Hello Indie Game fans, the Steam Going Rogue Festival has roped in Metroidvanias and action platformers as well, where even though I've already covered plenty of such games, there are always more to discover, so here are 10 new titles to look forward to. Let's begin with Orb, Offensive Rolling Bot, a sci-fi pixel art title that looks absolutely fantastic, where you play as a rolling robot from the future sent back into the past to destroy an evil AI. Of course, this takes Samus' Morph Ball ability to the extreme, crafting an entire game around it with plenty of fast-paced projectile combat as well. I do think that it looks pretty neat, making this one to keep an eye on. A very retro looking title is Tim Tim 2 The Almighty Gnome, one that leans a little bit more in the classic Vania direction but does have an interconnected world with over 100 maps. Apparently, this game was made in a game engine meant for a JRPG title but the developer simply liked to use the engine and has managed to wrangle it to make this game looking like a neat smaller title. Developer Bug Studio has made a number of middling titles, so I'm not completely convinced that Chefy Chef would be good, but it uses their signature pixel art style which just works, having a chef as a main character and cooking and food as a theme which makes it of interest. Our hero is exploring strange new worlds after passing through a magic portal in his fridge on a quest to find ingredients for his favourite dishes. Oh. Cooking utensils like a knife, frying pan and mallet form the Metroidvania-like abilities that geek traversal, with some hidden collectibles in each level as well, making this quite the curiosity. Another simple looking entry is Wonky Works, an 8-bit title that self-describes as a search action game which, if I'm not familiar, is another name for Metroidvanias so I do think that this developer knows what they are doing. Most interestingly, it is a run and gun title where you're able to recruit companions to fight alongside with you, looking like a charming little game. Another classic looking metroidvania is The Adventures of Poppy, one where our hero is a tiny, tiny man resulting in him exploring real world environments as if he was shrunk down, where of course dangerous insects and animals are the main threat here. I do like the 8-bit look and colour palette, having puzzle solving and some great animations which did get my attention.
An awesome looking pixel art title of interest is Animal Well, one where you play as a little blob creature with legs, exploring this strange world and finding a way to survive. Most interestingly, there isn't direct combat in this game, so it's not like most metroidvanias, having a little bit more of a focus on puzzles and items, although you can use your environment to dispatch of your enemies. The developer says that there are a ton of secrets to be discovered, but I do think that exploration is key in all games, making this of interest. I've mentioned Yenosik 2 on the channel before, but we did only get a very brief trailer at the time, with this being much more extensive, so do have a look. This is based on the Slovak folk hero or highwayman that has many similarities to Robin Hood, stealing from the rich and giving it to the poor. The original game is actually free on Steam, so do check it out, but this sequel looks to be bigger and better, having three playable characters in Yenosik, as well as a vampire and werewolf. These characters do give you that Metroidvania exploration abilities to access new areas, but I do like the minimalist pixel art style of the characters as well. Let's kick off the top 3 with Sect, a title that has a gorgeous hand-drawn art style reminiscent of cartoons from the 90s, looking very impressive indeed. You play as a sentient pillow of all things, exploring the world of dreams which continually gets twisted and warped by nightmares, having to fight off these creatures as you go along. highlight has to be the art, where I'm a little concerned about what I've seen from the feedback in combat of how hits register. You do also have a variety of elemental magic at your disposal, which adds variety, where there's supposed to be an inventory and equipment system as well, with different armor, weapons and relics that you can use. There are over 150 different types of enemies, 17 mini-bosses and 17 main bosses, looking like quite an epic adventure. If you have been subscribed to the channel for a little while and have a good memory, you might remember Comaggio Romilia Scarlet Symphony since I've mentioned this before, but again, we now have a more extensive trailer that's worth a look. This is actually a remaster of a game from 2009 that uses characters from the Toho project, which was never translated to English to my knowledge, so here's another chance to play this game. Not 
It does look to be following that Symphony of the Night mood a little too closely, but does have flight and bullet hell elements as well, as expected from a Toho game. It does have Japanese style pixel art as well, which you can also see in games like Toho Luna Nights, as compared to the more defined outlines of Monster Sanctuary or Infernax, for example, which is a pleasure on the eyes as well. Speaking of gorgeous games, I do want to give a very special mention to The Night Witch, the next title from developer Super Mega Team, who are making a bullet hell metroidvania with a beautiful look. This developer is known for their art, having made the equally gorgeous Rise and Shine from 2017, but that was a linear action platformer as compared to the interconnected world nature of this game. You have both guns and magic at your disposal to be used in bullet hell combat, but even if you're not a fan of this style of shooter map, the developers have included accessibility options so it should not be a barrier, where everything in this game from the characters, attacks, animations, environmental objects and backgrounds are gorgeous, taking the number one spot. For more Metroidvania titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.